Hello, how you? How's everyone doing? This is Dragon Tank 1400, and welcome back to Dragon Tank Plays Modded Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend, and I hope you guys enjoy the coming up holidays. Wait, wait, what? What's that right there? Oh, that better not be a fire. I knew I should have put fire spread off. This is not good. Not good at all. Wait. What do we have here? Actually, oh, actually, it's smoking. Is it burning? Get me up there! Hurry! Wait. Oh. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I'm kind of. That, that's kind of first time acting in this series and. Didn't go so good. Not a good actor. Mm. Gotta work on that. But um, this is a smoker for Railcraft. And is it turning night? Oh, no, it's not. Basically, this is the tea shop right here where we got going. Uh, that's the fishing shop over there. Those are the two things I. I worked on a couple more things, but those are the two main things I um, almost finished. They're almost done. The store pretty much just has to be stocked. But I did the fishing one first. But what I want for the shops is I, I at first just want to kind of. This isn't pixel art. I mean, it kind of is, but it's kind of it's it's not it's not to scale. And I based it on is like the red herring. Based it on this a little bit. It's not pixel art. But I think it works. This um, the T in this game. The cup looks well. The cup is looks wooden, which to me doesn't make any sense. Any I looked on pictures online, and most of them were a white, white kind of cup. So I did that there. I thought it had the smoke, and I um, for this one I did. Let me get on this roof. I did both sides because because of the smoke being in the middle. I I think it looks I think it turned out this I think the fishing one turned out a lot better. However, there's only so much you can do with a cop and I and I think it turns out good enough. This is my first time with pixel art and unlike my acting, it went a lot better. I can see a normal uh, like a normal house shape building kind of the same style as these. Got a carpenter's door. This has to be stocked with like um, stuff to create tea. I think I'll use like some flowers and stuff, not just the tea leaves. This over here will be stocked with the actual tea and then and then the stuff to make the tea as well. Uh, um, if if you want to make your own tea, you get it over here. And if you want to get your own cups, you go over here. And this is where you pay the cash register. I thought thought the typewriter look look a lot like the cash register, so decided to use it. Standard throughout all the shops, I think. This is uh, where the people sit down, eat some food. Let's let's get into F five mode, I guess. This skin is going away though, by the way. I am going to get a new skin. I have to think. It's going to be when I do the custom NPC ones, I think, because I'm going to be using so many skins. Oh, I never go in this mode. Let's, see, let's get back to, yeah, first person. Let's. Uh, nothing really be shown at night, so let's sleep. Sleep away the bad things. Let me make sure here. Okay, good. I have it on normal. I was in a creative world working some stuff out, which is why I wanted to check that. So, I think the shop looks really good. I like it. I'll get my jetpack on, I guess, and give you guys kind of. Let me close this door. It bothers me. <laughs> yeah. So, this is kind of like an awning here. Um, try to get, you know, some covering in case it rains or whatever. 
the, these seats are the only ones that are sort of covered, but it's whatever. <clears throat> so I think it, I knew there was a reason I um, picked this area, and now I know it's because of the water. Because they got like these bigger like bay type areas and they're perfect for docks they're just amazing I, I, I like them and so this is the tea shop they do not sell coffee the coffee shops to be a little smaller I like tea more than coffee so and it's gonna go up here I'm gonna create like a pathway from here this is like the kind of a fork in the road kind of thing right here and it's gonna lead it's gonna like go up this way and it's gonna kind of hug the terrain a little bit and the tea sh and the coffee shop is gonna have like a balcony where people sit and then the tea shop's gonna be kind of inside in the mountain <clears throat> a little bit or and like half of it is the other half's gonna be hanging or, I, I'll have to work that out also this area right here is gonna be um, the the flower shop I think it's enough room I think I'm gonna make the flower shop like one story and then like the two story and the second one's like hanging off there <clears throat> maybe yeah I'm gonna do something like that it's gonna be unique haven't really figured it out yet these are uh, silver lime saplings I got them before I'm getting back into the bees and the trees um, it's gonna take me a while though not gonna show anything I did on that so far because it really isn't much. Just kind of, it's kind of a waiting game. I do have to install the pipes though. Oh, where am I going? Ah, what the? Get the get this off. Give me, yes. Alright, so and I'm gonna redo the uh, this guy's building. Just the not the building, but the farms really. <coughs> So this is the fishing shack, the fishing shop, or whatever. Right. You can see here it's a it's on a raised dock area. I was gonna do the whole raise this up one and everything, but um, since these are um, since this is on a, like a full block scale, not a half slab, it didn't really look that good. But I decided to keep it this way. So as you can see, lots of shelves for lots of inventory that's not quite in. This is going to be like all the bait, like the um, smaller bait. And this is going to be, um, well, a lot of the fishes are going to go here. And it's going to act as bigger bait, I guess. Cash register. Um, oh, this, by the way. If you ever worked, if you ever been to a fishing shop, uh, above them they have these racks that hold the fishing poles. Uh, these look a lot like them. Uh, in my little time at retail, I did I did work for like a, um, I was in the fi I was in the uh, fishing and hunting and camping department, the outdoor department, and that's what they had. Um, so I, I really looks I really think it looks a lot like it, and I'm gonna hang other fishing like the more important fishing poles here so and then out here this is gonna be like a drying rack or whatever for um for fish not that you would actually ever dry the fish but I just think it looks cool or maybe these are like trophies or something I'm not sure I just think it looks cool same here just just stick your fish up there and just let it hang until you're ready this is a sifter um, to get the, the different baits. Here I'm going to put all the things that you would sift. Um, I'll spread them out a little bit. I showed you guys this last time that we worked on this the dock. Um, not much has changed with it. I added this fishing net and this vacuum hopper. It hasn't really done well. This is a horrible place to fish by the way. Because this is like a canyon, um, if you look, this is a canyon ravine which has like the highest temperature I think in the game, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so 
at night you can catch stuff, but during the day you only catch sticks. As far as I, I, I didn't do a huge sample size, but but I did some. Uh, let's grab, and I was a frit. Let's grab this. Where is it? Oh, there's a speed boat. I was afraid to use this because boats could be buggy in the game, but I tried it out and it works fine. It's, well, I mean, it kind of works weird, to be honest. Uh, I'm trying to get an F5 mode. There we go. It kind of works weird. Here, I am going to do some terrain editing, I think. Um, uh, if you look on the map, I, that's one. Uh, I'm going to crash. <laughs> These things like drift so much. One thing that always upset me about Minecraft was that the rivers were, weren't really connected. And that's the one big thing about terrain that just upset me. So I think I'm gonna, this is the ocean. I think I'm gonna connect all this up <clears throat> to here. And then over here, I'll kind of do the same type of type of connection ish uh, yes because they got these areas where it's like oh there should be a river there but it's not and it just doesn't make any sense to me so that's a project for another day I should add to the project board um, I'm gonna have to change some of the spelling in the project board uh, next time I update it I'll no 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 so let's get out of here and okay, I got it back. <clears throat> so that's kind of that's what I worked on. It's not complete. It still has to be stocked all all the shelves and everything. Um, and I gotta do some work out here, but it is a good. It's a really good start on it. It's almost finished. Really liked how how um, the <clears throat> the fish turned out. Really liked it a lot. I liked how the teacup turned out too. Um, this is kind of awkward, just a little bit, but it's good. It works. <clears throat> So let's actually go back to the laboratory for just a little bit. Um, I'm just going to make a cut here. Uh, actually, no, I'll go back to the laboratory. I'll, I'll do all this on camera, I guess. There's really not a whole lot of time. Uh, let's see, I actually need to get up to here. I have to... I'm not going to redo this, but I'm going to add this system at a in in a, a bigger system of this someplace else. Because when I want to smelt a whole lot of stuff, it just takes a while, and I need. I think I should get like eight to sixteen furnaces. Thirty-two or I don't know, but it just takes a while sometimes when I have to smelt a ton of stuff up. I'm going to need that tin later. I'm always lacking tin in this world. Always. I don't know why I did that. I'm just going to waypoint and teleport this way. This will save time. I'm going to eliminate doing that for the most part. As soon as I get like, some of the road system sets up. So I haven't... I did a little bit here. I am... It's better. Let's just say that it's better. It's not. It's not exactly it yet. However, I had to create some sort of design, and these are different blocks. They are the um, uh, the Z-tone, the ones that you use the lapis for. But don't tell me it's dark already. Sun's going down. Go down already. Come on. So yeah, I use the lapis ones. And they turned out quite 
quite well. It was actually what I decided to use in my creative world. I just couldn't remember. The ones at the Ender Pearl, they just weren't working out for me. So I added that here. This is gonna be um all right, so what am I working on here? I think it's about time. I think it's about time I really get started on the my um getting system set up for like my mob farm and stuff. There's a block missing there. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, I think it's about time I get that. I, I get that stuff set up because it is a pain to go and well collect stuff and everything and oh what the hell did I that was weird <clears throat> yeah it, it's a it's just a pain It's just a pain to go and collect stuff. Um, I do enjoy it, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do sort of like the ores. I'm gonna do the tinkers. Where is it? It's like the bushes. I'm not sure. Basically, it's it's they. Uh, you get these ore berries from the um, Tinker's bushes, the Tinker's ore bushes, and there are certain things that I'm not sure if there's any other way to get them in the game, like besides mining and with the ore bushes. But I'm gonna use the ore bushes for now because I there's still things I want to do with ore processing. Um, I, I haven't done Rotary Craft or Mechanist for ore processing. And I believe those are the two best ones in the game. And I definitely want to get into that. So I don't want my mining days to be over. Which is why I'm not going to create like a gold farm or a uh, iron farm quite yet. However, I will. I will eventually. <laughs> because I want to get to the point where I am building in. in those type of blocks. Yeah. I want to build in the most expensive blocks in the game. And unless unless I automatically process that stuff, it's just not gonna happen. I'm trapped again. No, I'm not trapped. But let's do that. Let's hop down. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. So my mob setup. I'll have it next episode. And I'm gonna get some farms going. Like I don't have. I have a. Uh, The farms I have, it's just, it's basically not, they're not good. Um, and I need, and it's about time, I've been long enough in this world where it's about time I get some actual farms going. So like a sugar cane farm, um, a, I don't know. Like basically all your basic farms that you need. So that's not, I'm going to kind of get that ready for next episode, and next episode is going to be um, really close to Christmas. So in the uh, little town we have going, I want there to be like a, a seasonal area where I put like a Christmas tree and that sort of stuff. So want to do that as well. I do want to get this mob spawner system set up like 
<laughs> I have one set up, but it's first of all, it's made of dirt. <laughs> it was kind of like my test thing of how to do it, and second of all, it was it's just not. I want to create more of them and the ability to add some more mobs. So my idea with that is uh, in the center block, which is that cobblestone. Um, this is going to be the bottom, but it's going to go up there. Um, there's going to up there. There's going to be a, a drawbridge, three uh, a redstone blocks gonna come out of that and when I want the system on the redstone blocks are gonna um, go back into the drawbridge and it will turn the powered spawners on I'll show you guys that next episode and basically this will allow me to do three on that side three 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 so it'll be a total of 12 I have three set up I have a witch a blaze, an enderman, and an enderman. I want a zombie and a skeleton. I, I want a wither skeleton, um, if that's possible. I'm not exactly sure it's possible in this uh, in this mod pack because I don't think you can create the exact copy. It would just create skeletons. I might have to actually make that in another. Um, and I eventually want zombie pigmen. Um, iron golems, which are not probably it will. It, the system's not going to be set for them. And I want well, probably other stuff too. We'll have to see. But I want the ability to add some, so that will give me some some wiggle room. So anyway, um, I'm uh. So anyway, I'm going to cut here. It's about time for the passage of the day. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. So uh, last week I talked about joy and I kind of I talked about um, uh, just what I disagreed about the pasture, about um, helping out those who don't have joy and that kind of things who don't have Jesus Christ. However, it is important that our joy is not based on situa situational things. And I think I didn't mention it in brief, but um, <laughs> our joy should be based on not situational things about what we get or what the world offer us or if our grain and wine abound or things are going great for us. It should be based on the joy we have from Jesus Christ. Um, I think it was David who wrote this psalm, pretty sure. He stated that he has more joy in his, in his heart than they have, other people have, when their grain and wine abound. So his joy was actually greater, uh, even if things weren't going good, at least the joy in his heart. Um, he was sometimes probably, he was definitely sad sometimes in mourning, but the joy in his heart was greater than, uh, when uh, then when others uh, things are going great so that that's important to note um, our joy comes from God and even when things are going bad even if if we're so, if, if we're grieving or in sorrow we need to keep that joy of Jesus Christ in our heart that God that God is in control of all situations and he's there to help us and that uh, at the end of all things we have been given the greatest gift of all and that's salvation through Jesus Christ um, <clears throat> to live eternity with him with God in heaven so <clears throat> that's important to always know as Christians so anyway that's going to be it for the day hope you guys enjoyed the episode Look at that city. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.